Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and I'm going to reveal another new collection from Stamperia. So this is in-house now and shipping. This is Stamperia Rose Perfume. Uh, there's a 12 by 12 scrapbook pad, a 12 by 12 backgrounds, and I'll get into some of the other details. But first, let's take a look inside of the main design pack. Ooh, look at that. I like these colors. This is really pretty. This is gonna make a very beautiful border. And I'm just fascinated by perfume bottles and um, especially pretty ones like this. So there are some um, chipboard and die cut stuff in these shapes, which I think will make a very, very feminine project. Very pretty. I think this would make a really nice keepsake box in general. Just the um, the colors and the patterns. We've got some card toppers slash cut aparts. This is lovely. Oh, I love this. Those edges are just so pretty. And the, and the collage itself is very pretty. Could definitely accent this collection with pearls or lace. It's very pretty. So, oh, that's very bold. I like it. <clears throat> I could see that as the top of a box. <clears throat> yes, lovely, lovely. And that's a nice background. I like that a lot too. And then some more cut aparts. These are a little bit smaller. These look like they're two by three. Um, or two and a half by three and a half, something like that. So a little bit smaller, um, nice, nice. Oh, and on the back is just a pattern. Where the other ones, it would, it had a front and a back. I guess they were more like uh, journal cards. This is very pretty too. I like these. They used to do this in every pack, and I like that they're doing square and circle. It used to be that they had all circles, um, which I like too, but it's nice to have a variety. Look, Memories Diary, perfect. And look at all these cut aparts, wow. That's pretty, it's very subtle. Okay, so that is the scrapbook pack. This will be the um, I always want to call it patterns and solids, but they call it backgrounds. That's fun. Be tempted to do some strips with that. I could see that being like uh, on the edge of an insert. I like that they do uh, backgrounds. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Very suitable for mini albums or um, 12 by 12s, I think. This is a really pretty pattern. I like that a lot. Beautiful. These would be interesting, cut apart and layered with some of the smaller um, cards from the scrapbooking pack um, where you so you could have color and then sort of the sepia that would that would be interesting and do some layering okay more of those beautiful perfume bottles okay so that is the backgrounds in addition to coming in 12 by 12 the scrapbooking pack comes in 8 by 8 and the backgrounds come in 8 by 8 and then there is a 6 by 6 this one is just for the scrapbooking, no backgrounds. Okay, next I'll show you the rice paper that we selected. <clears throat> These are beautiful. And rice paper is basically paper that you use to decoupage. Um, it's very thin and you just use like Mod Podge to put it down. <clears throat> and the way I do it is I put Mod Podge on wherever I'm gonna place it, lay it down, smooth out my wrinkles, and then I Mod Podge the top also, so it kind of seals it. <clears throat> All right, what else do we have? We have decorative chips, and these actually turn out to be pretty generic, so if you didn't wanna use all of them, they could really be applied to just about anything. <clears throat> we have die cuts. 
They used to tell us the number, but I don't think they tell us anymore. A lot. Um, I I never use all the die cuts in a project. You can use them over over several projects because there's so many. And there um, there's flowers. Uh, I think there's frames. There's a little bit of everything in here. Circles, rectangles, and then there's two ephemera packs. <clears throat> This is flowers and garland, and then this one is frames and ladies. And they call this ad adhesive paper cutouts, ephemera. So that's pretty, they're thinner than um, chipboard. It's not quite as heavy, but they are rigid. So there's two of those. Then we have our wood. And there's those perfume bottles, aren't they pretty? And then lastly, this is uh, the chip, what they call chipboard, and it has adhesive back. So this is really pretty. So that is it for Stamperia's Rose Perfume. All of this is available and in stock, so check out uh, www.scrapandcreate.com. You'll find all of these when you click on Stamperia. It'll be uh, one of the first ones listed on that page. Thanks for your time. I hope you enjoyed this new collection. See you soon.